Do you use a dashboard as one of your main recording tools? Do you need to link to additional detail from this dashboard, but rather not switch away from the screen? This is possible with SAS Visual Analytics using Info Windows. Keep watching and learn what Info Windows are and how to configure them. I'm Terry Petzolaris with SAS, and this is the Technical Insights and Expertise Series. Let's look at some high-level information about using Info Windows in SAS Visual Analytics Designer. Report linking offers a lot of benefits. It enables a single-click access either to a related report, section, or external page. It allows the report designer to focus on creating meaningful and attractive reports without trying to squeeze extra objects and data onto the report canvas. You're able to provide supporting data either at the summary or detail level, and you're able to link to either the same data source or different data source to allow for that dashboard style mashup. Visual Analytics Designer offers four types of links. The first is a report link. This enables you to select a target report. The second is a section link. This is where you're able to select a target section within the same report. Info Windows, which is what we'll focus on today, is where you're able to select a target hidden report section defined as an info window and within the same report, which essentially becomes a pop-up during viewing. And the last one is an external link. This is where you're able to link to a URL, either fully qualified or relative, and you can even pass parameters. Today we're going to focus on the Info Window link. Info Windows were introduced with the SAS Visual Analytics 7.1 release. It opens a target hidden report section in a new window. An object can have multiple info windows, as you can see from this screenshot. And when viewing the report, the user will select which info window to open. Here are some requirements. The info window section must be in the same report. For the same data source, filters are automatically passed to objects. And for a different data source, you're able to map data columns or link without carrying over any filter values. Let's take a look at an example. In this first example, I want to focus on demonstrating the info window functionality. Notice that this report appears to be comprised of one section that represents a dashboard of this fictitious company and its revenue. You can use info in a variety of ways. I'm going to cover at least three ways in this first demonstration. First is a simple text screen. This maintenance detail pop-up, you can see that this info window details the maintenance of this report. It lists how often the data is refreshed, the system maintenance schedule, and who to contact with questions. Essentially, this is a text box that you can include anything that you might think the user needs when viewing this report. Now let's direct our attention down here to this line chart. This is showing revenue by month for a particular product line. In this example, we're looking at the game product line. What if we were interested in more detail, say, by week? Let's highlight a trend that we're interested in. And double click on these data points. Which brings us to a linked info window that offers more detailed data where we have the date by week for this particular product line. This info window is fully interactive, and by clicking a few of the data points, you can see that I have a filter interaction defined between this line chart and the crosstab below. Let's look at one more example. We've seen a simple text display, a multi-object with interaction, but what about actual prompt controls? Let's look at the promotional product line and into more detail about the iPhone cover. In this particular bar graph, we are looking at the product versus revenue. When I double click on the iPhone cover, we are prompted to pick which action to take. We could choose to view the info window on maintenance details or the revenue by product description. 
Since we've already taken a look at this info window, we're going to look at the second revenue by product description. In this info window, we have a list control set up to filter the bar chart. In this case, down at the bottom in the list table, we can see that San Francisco is outperforming New York. But what if we were interested in which products were selling the most in each location? If we were interested in New York, we would see that the blue iPhone cover is selling the most, and in San Francisco, the red. Now that you've seen a few examples of using info windows, let's look at how to configure them. I'm going to switch to a report that is not fully configured and that will walk through how to configure these info windows. As I mentioned earlier in the PowerPoint, info windows are report sections which are defined as info windows, which turns them into hidden report sections. I recommend building out your report sections as you normally would, using any values you plan to be passed and defining section prompts to stand in as placed. I'll go into more detail on this soon. So let's look at our main dashboard. This is exactly what we looked at in the previous example. Now let's switch to section 1. This should look familiar as our maintenance detail info window. This section contains a simple text object, and I've went ahead and populated what I wanted it to say. Let's go ahead and make this an info window. So from the section menu, there's a drop-down menu, and we're going to pick the display as window info window option. When I do this, two things happen. First, section one is renamed to info window one. Therefore, don't worry about giving your sections meaningful names until after you've defined it as an info window, because it'll just happen automatically. And the second thing that happened is this note to the report authors. This says this tab is available only to report authors. To make this info window available to the viewers, create a link to the info window from a report object. So this is basically notifying you that this is section is now hidden, and the only way to get to it is through a link. Before we define a link to this info window, let's go ahead and rename our info window. So on the Properties tab, let's go ahead and name this the Maintenance Details. Let's go ahead and define the link. So switch to the Main Dashboard section, and we'll go on the Interactions tab, and I'll click the Interactions view. And in the example report that we walked through, I had several of the objects um, being able to select the maintenance details. So we'll go ahead and have this list table uh, have the maintenance detail pop up. We'll have this table have that as a pop up, this one, and the bar chart. Now, anytime a user clicks, uh, double clicks on a value in one of these objects, the option to view maintenance details info window will be available to them. Now let's look at section two. Go ahead and close and save is good practice. Section two, if you remember, was linked off the line chart down here. This is a date by month, and we wanted more detail about being able to click on certain data points and look at the date by week. At the top here, you see I have the same section filters that I have on the main dashboard. I have the date by year, and I have my product line. This is because I know those two values will get passed when I link to this info window. I know the user will be selecting monthly data points that will filter down both of these objects even further, but I can pretty much estimate that it's just going to be a subset of these weeks, which will also be a subset in the cross tab, so I don't feel like I need to add any section filters to help me visualize that. Now, very similar to the first section, we need to define this as an info window section. 
So from the Section 2 drop-down menu, go ahead and select Displays Info Window. And here we have a new dialog that pops up. It says if we switch from a section tab to an info window, then all section prompts will be deleted. Are you sure you want to permanently delete all section prompts? I knew this would happen. I purposely put these prompts here as an example to show you that you cannot use section prompts when defining info windows. But again, this is just a development aid. Since I knew the year and the product line were coming in, I'm perfectly OK with these section prompts being deleted because they're going to be fed from the main dashboard when we link to this info window. So we can go ahead and click Delete. Now, when we do that, it's going to change the look and feel, obviously because we don't have the year filter. So you see all of the years available here. And we don't have the product line filter, so you'll see all of the product lines here. Again. This isn't going to be the final outcome because when we link to this section, uh, the filters from the main dashboard will get passed down. So let's go ahead and on the properties, rename this info window. We're going to rename it Revenue by Reek. Let's navigate back to the main dashboard section and define the interaction. So from the interaction view, we want the revenue by month to be able to get to more detail by linking to revenue by week. And here we have our info windows that both have links defined for them. Lastly, let's look at section 3. In this section, I wanted to demonstrate that you can put control objects in the body of the report as well as multiple objects to provide that next level of detail or interaction that your users may need from the main dashboard. As you can see in the section prompts that I use for development, I am anticipating the year to be passed as well as the product. Remember, the main dashboard had year and product line, but I'm specifically going to link to this info window from this graph, so I know that the product, one level down, will be sent over to this new info window. Before we make them an info window, let's just check out the interactions view for this particular section. You can see that I have control prompt filtering down this bar chart. I'm leaving the list table alone as I want to see all of the available facility cities and their uh, total down at the bottom. So let's make this an info window by using the section drop down menu and picking display as info window. Again, I get the prompt that will notify me that the section prompts will be deleted. Let's go ahead and click Delete and rename this info window to Revenue by Product Description. And then we have to go back to our main dashboard and make sure that we define the interaction so that the pop-up window, the info window, is available. So again, this is from this bar chart, and we are going to link to the info window revenue by product description. That takes care of configuring the example I walked through. These all happen to use the same data source, but what if you had a different data source? Can you define an info window that uses a different underlying data? Of course you can. Let's look and see how this is done. Let me go ahead and close this interaction view and save as good practice. And let's look at this section four. Again, this was not on the original report that I walked you through, but something that I wanted to show you if you happen to have a different data source. So here we do have two data sources defined. All of the other sections are using our fictitious Megacorp company. And this particular one is using the Insight Toy Company. You can see that up here in the section prompt, I'm only anticipating the year to get passed. These two data sources do have overlapping product lines, but I chose not to pass any of those um, over in this particular example. So let's go ahead and make this an info window. Click delete as I know that the section prompt will be deleted. And let's give this a new name.
back on the main dashboard section, we'll go ahead to the interactions view. And let's link this first list table to our different data source. When we do that, you'll see a new dialog we haven't seen before. This is the Map Data Sources dialog. We could simply select the first option, Link Section, that will link directly to the info window without passing any values. We would select this option if we did not have any open or overlapping columns that we wanted to pass. The second option is the Map Data, which will allow us to map columns between the two data sources. The Map Data Sources dialog will try to perform the mapping for you. Check to see if this is correct and if these are the values you actually want passed to that info window. In this example, I only want to pass the year column, so there are some overlapping product lines I could have passed, but I chose not to do that for this example. So let's delete one of these rows and update the source and target column to the appropriate years. So for the source, it's going to be date by year. And for the target, I believe it is just the year. And we'll click OK. Go ahead and close the interactions view and save. And let's take a look. Now we've seen most of this in action before. Namely, again, we could pick a selection of data points and bring up the more detail by week for those particular data points. Again, this still has the same filter interaction. This again, if we were interested in more detail for this particular product, we could select that info window and use the interactivity to compare different product descriptions and their revenue generated. But let's take a look at that new data source, that different data source. So this first, uh, this first list table that we looked at, when I double clicked on it, we only had the maintenance details option. Now let's look at the Insight Toy Summary. So in this example, we wanted to send just the year. So here we have 2011 for this particular summary list table. If I picked a different year, obviously the entire main dashboard is going to change. But we could see that even for the Inside Toy Summary, that year gets passed over to the info window. There you have it. You now know how to configure sections to be info windows. Remember to use the section prompts as development helpers and be sure to define an interaction to your info window, otherwise your users will have no way to get to it. For more information on info windows, please see the below link to my blog which walks through a different example. Thank you and check back with the Technical Insights and Expertise series for additional tips.